Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan video. So I'm kind of excited because I'm doing things a little bit differently this week. And I actually got home at midnight last night from a trip. It was sort of like I was on a work trip and then I transitioned from a work trip into a personal trip, which I will be vlogging that so you guys will see that uh, soon if you haven't already. So moral of the story is is i've just been out of town for eight days and so obviously since i got home at midnight last night i've not had time to go to the grocery store yet my plan this week is to sort of take inventory and see what things i have left in my refrigerator and my freezer and my pantry try to um, make some uh, dinners that I can make mostly using things that I have on hand and then just go to the grocery store to get like the bare minimum. Like I know we need eggs, I know we need milk, I know we need bread, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna show you right now what is left in my refrigerator. Now keep in mind, Adam has had the kids for basically all week and the weekend too. And so I did prep some things before I left, not necessarily meal prep, but just like you know, prepping produce and making sure they had like cold cuts in the fridge and stuff like that. So let me show you what's left. So here's what the fridge looks like. And compared to when I left, it's actually uh, pretty empty. So down here, I had had a bunch of veggies and fruit prepped and I am happy to say that they ate all of them. I actually had also some grapes that I didn't get washed before I left and um, Adam actually washed those up and the kids ate them all. So I did get like a bunch of applesauce and yogurt and it looks like there's a bunch of those left. There's some English muffins. I did also have eggs in here and it looks like they ate all of those. Um, but yeah, really, really not much food left in the fridge. Obviously Adam just got his beer of the month <laughs> shipment. So um, if you guys are looking for like a good idea for your husband or even I mean, not necessarily your husband, like either your partner or someone who likes to try unique beers. Um, there's something called Beer of the Month Club, and they send you two of these bombers every month, and it's usually like a hard-to-find beer. Um, and so that's kind of fun for people who are like beer nerds or whatever. But anyway, so that's in there. Um, it looks like we need to get some milk. We have just a little bit. Oh, look. No, I lied. There's a whole other thing of milk back there. So never mind. We don't need to get milk. Um, this is actually a turkey sandwich I bought at the airport and didn't end up eating. <laughs> so I just threw that in there. Uh, the kids have some chocolate milk left. And then I was actually pretty um, satisfied with the produce situation. So um, there are a few cuties left in here, but they actually ate most of those, so that's good. Um, I still have some celery left in here. I might make some tuna salad with that and some peppers. This one looks like it's maybe about to uh, go south, so I'll have to decide what I can make with those. And then in this drawer, we still have a cucumber that's ready and good to go, some kale, some yellow squash, um, so that's good. And then in the cold cut drawer, I did sort of stock up on... Um, like turkey sticks and cheese sticks and stuff before I left, but it looks like they ate some of the hot dogs. We still have actually a lot of turkey sticks. Um, they did eat some of the chicken, um, roast chicken lunch meat that I got. There's still some cheese and stuff left in here. So that's a look at what the fridge looks like. Let's go out to the freezer. So here is the freezer um, that's attached to the fridge that we have in the garage. So I know that in here I have a lot of frozen corn. I also have marinara sauce, which I uh, did in a previous meal prep. I can um, link that video down below. This is homemade marinara sauce that I made. So that's a dinner idea. I also have this freezer meal packet that is a um, slow cooker Asian sesame pork. So that's something that I can do. I do have some shredded chicken in here. And then I think that actually this is chicken mozzarella pasta so i'm not sure if i'm going to do anything with that or not i have some more marinara over here this is actually chili sauce and it, it well it says chili like like chili like chili soup but it should say like c-h-i-l-e chili sauce uh that goes on like slow cooker pork for pork tacos um there is actually some chicken chili down here in these freezer containers so that's something that I could do let's look in the deep freeze all right so here is the deep freeze these are chicken bones um, I do have some of these uh, ciabatta rolls 
left that I froze last week, so I could definitely make something with those. I have some bagel pizzas. Um, there is also some, a lot of chicken breast in here, some frozen veggies, and then down below is all of like our beef, which you can't really see, but like we have ground beef and different things down there because we do get um, a half or a quarter of a beef every year. So we have plenty of that. So uh, I think the moral of the story is that I have plenty of stuff to make. I just need to figure out what that's going to be. Here's the freezer inside the house, which I didn't really show you guys, but there are some um, frozen chicken patties left in there. And then I think these are, oh, those are hash brown potatoes. Um, and then I still have this grilled chicken. It's already cooked that I haven't used that yet. So that's something that I can make. I'm going to go look in the pantry. Okay, so uh, this is basically where I keep all of like my dried and canned goods up here. So I have beans, garbanzo beans. Um, I do have like assorted pastas, mac and cheese, breadcrumbs. Um, I do think I have like some curry sauce. Yeah, I have this Thai red curry sauce. So that's something I can do is chicken curry since I have a lot of chicken breast in the refrigerator. Um, yeah, and then, oh, I also have this. So I got this, whoops. I got this when I was in New Orleans um, for Adam. I think you just make, what do you put in here? Seafood, ham, or chicken. So I could do that jambalaya too. So um, I'm going to go ahead and make my meal plan. And then I will show you what I'm planning on making this week. Basically using up what I have in my freezer and pantry. All right. So I came up with my menu plan for the week. If you guys are new to my channel, I do use a Carrie L meal planner. I always have a link in my description box and I have a discount code. I think it's like 10% off. I don't get kickback from that or anything, but I just like to share it because this is my third or fourth Carrie L meal planner. Sometimes the designs change availability. So just keep that in mind if you're going to order it, but I have the smaller size meal planner, which is actually the same size as my Erin Condren planner. They also have another, um, meal planner. That's like an eight and a half by 11. If you want the bigger size, I like this because I can easily fit it in my purse. So here is what I am planning on making this week with what I have on hand. I will need to go to the grocery store for a few things, but hopefully not very much. So today is Monday. We are going to have spaghetti with meat sauce for dinner. Um, I have some peas in the freezer, and then I'm also planning on making some zoodles and some garlic bread with that ciabatta, um, those ciabatta rolls that I found in my deep freeze. So I just wanted to show you kind of what I pulled um, to make this. Oh God, Murphy, I'm sorry. <laughs> what I pulled to make this dish. So I did make the homemade marinara sauce. So I just, hold on a second. All right, I apologize for that. My dog was freaking out about something outside. Anyway, uh, where was I at? Okay. I have the homemade marinara sauce that I made a couple weeks ago that is in the freezer. So I'll just saw that out and mix it with some ground beef that I'll brown up. I always have ground beef in my freezer again, cause we always get the quarter beef um, a few times a year. I have some thin spaghetti in the pantry as well as garlic and onion that I found in the refrigerator. And then I might also make some zoodles. So this is actually a yellow squash, but you can make zoodles with it too. Or would it be called squoodles? Maybe I kind of like that word better. <laughs> so I might make these in a zoodles and mix this with some of the pasta for Adam and I, um, actually the kids like it too. So that's what I'm planning on making tonight. And then Tuesday, Connor has baseball, so that night I think I'm just going to make sandwiches and chips and fruit, and we'll take that to the ballpark with us. On Wednesday, uh, we don't have any activities that night. That's another thing I wanted to mention. So usually how I start out meal planning is I write the activities that we have after work and school on here because that helps me sort of plan and figure out how much time I have to make dinner. Um, but I'm going to make garlic lemon chicken with baked potatoes. I have baked potatoes or not baked potatoes. I have potatoes in the pantry that I need to use up and then, um, corn in the freezer. So these are the Stouffer's seasoning wraps. I found this in my pantry. If you guys haven't tried these, they're actually really good. They're like parchment paper 
and you just put your chicken breast inside of it and cook it in a skillet. Um, you don't even need any oil and it cooks up really, really flavorfully. I love them. So I'm going to make these with baked potatoes and corn. And then on Thursday, I think I'll just get some stuff at the grocery store to make chef salads. Um, so like maybe some lettuce, ham, turkey, um, you know, cherry tomatoes. I have a cucumber, I have some peppers. So, um, we can actually take those to the ballpark with us. Kira will not really eat lettuce salads, but Connor will. So I'll probably have to figure out something else for her. Sometimes when we go to the ballpark, she'll actually make herself something else for dinner. So she'll make, um, like ravioli or peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something like that also thinking about making some tortilla roll-ups so like tortilla either spread with like cream cheese or laughing cow cheese maybe put some um, ham or turkey in there sorry that's my phone and then uh, also we'll have fruit and then Friday Adam and I are actually leaving for Denver and we'll be out of town for uh, a few nights so I won't need to plan for that so I will show you after I go to the grocery store and I get back my um, little grocery haul of what I need to fill in for this week. All right, so I just got back from the grocery store and I did not get a lot of stuff, but I wanted to show you what I got for about $80 today to round out my meal plan for the week. So I did get two heads of lettuce, one romaine and one green leaf. I will wash this up and use it for salads for both dinner and lunches during the week. Um, I did grab some unsalted butter we were almost out of that, so I just got the Land of Lakes because that's what they had there. I also got some of this uh, cheese and salami cheese. So if you haven't had this before, it is like it has chunks of salami in it, and it's really really good. So this is good to like cut up for um, snacks with crackers or for lunches for the kids. I also grabbed some beef bologna. This is just something simple that. Uh, we can take for lunch or the kids can take for lunch. I grabbed some 4% uh, old-fashioned cottage cheese. This is the AE brand. This is my favorite. If you guys live in the Midwest, you know that this brand is awesome. I don't know if you can get it outside the Midwest. I don't <laughs> think you can, but this is the best cottage cheese that I can get in my area. I also grabbed some eggs. If they had 18 packs, I would have liked to grab some 18 packs, but they only had 12 packs, so I grabbed those. Um, Connor was with me and he requested some Lunchables, so I just let him pick some out. He got the six inch turkey and ham for him and the six inch turkey and cheddar for Kira. I grabbed some uh, cherry tomatoes for salads and snacks and then one night this week, like I said, I'm going to make some salads, so I wanted to make some homemade dressing. I grabbed some buttermilk, some on the vine tomatoes to go for sandwiches and salads. I grabbed some bananas, just four of these. I tried to get the yellowest ones that I could, but those will have to ripen a little bit before we eat them. Connor also wanted some watermelon, so we grabbed one of these. Um, I got some pears. We have apples left over from last week, so we're good on that, but everyone likes pears, so I went ahead and grabbed a bag of those. I got some barbecue sauce because we were almost out of that. Kira um, said that she does not like the Nutri-Grain bars that I've been getting, and so I decided to try these for her. Sometimes she doesn't have time to eat breakfast in the morning, and so she'll grab something from the pantry and eat it at the bus stop. And so I thought that if I got these cinnamon, brown sugar, Belveda, that she would like those. And then Connor <laughs> wanted some tricks, so he grabbed a box of those. Grabbed some chocolate milk, and then he also grabbed the tricks toaster strudels, which I've never gotten these before, but uh, we'll try them. I grabbed a uh, half gallon of the Bonjour Vanilla from Fairway. This is for on top of the blueberry buckle that I'm making for dinner tonight. I also grabbed some steaks. Tonight is Adam and I's uh, 13th wedding anniversary, so he said he would grill these. I grabbed some Bread. This is the bread I use for sandwiches most often. It's the Honey Wheat Sara Lee. And the Sun Puffs, which are basically uh, four cheese, whole grain, um, sun chips in a puff form. So that is what I got for dinners this week. Sort of a non-traditional grocery haul and meal plan. I will have that, have that typed out in the description box below if you're interested. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.